Hey everyone, Evelina here. How are you guys going? I am so excited to film this video for you today. I finally received all the samples. If you watched my previous video, you would have seen the half-filmed unboxing because my camera died. And today I'm going to do a full video on the lovely Black Friday handbag. Oh, this thing is unreal. <laughs> the only issue, and I'll be totally honest with you guys, that I'm having with all of these bags that I've designed is that they're so beautiful. I don't want to actually use them. <laughs> All right, so today's video is just going to be about me speaking about the features of the bag and show you how much shit you can actually fit inside this guy, what it's made from, um, if you can use a strap with it, blah, blah, blah. Get comfy and we'll get straight into it. All of the materials are vegan friendly. Everything is like faux leather, faux patent leather and all that kind of stuff. All the bags for Evelina de More are. I like to just start with that so if any of you are wondering, I can just answer that straight off the bat. So it's mainly made of three materials. As I mentioned, you've got this faux leather, which is the same leather as the wallet and the clutch. So if you're trying to collect like a little set, it's all the same material. This part here is patent leather and it has padding. So it kind of gets that three dimensional raised look. Same deal as the clutch version one and version two. You can order this handbag with or without the sigil of Lucifer. So that is entirely up to you. When I did the clutch, there was a little bit of confusion. Some people left it in the notes that they didn't want the sigil. Some people just emailed me afterwards and it was a bit of a nightmare for me. So what I've done this time is I've made a designated listing for the no sigil version. So if you're going to order this bag and you want the no sigil, just make sure you're on the right listing. Um, otherwise it just calls me more paperwork and I hate paperwork. You don't want to do that to me. So the handles will sit down if you attach the long strap to wear it cross body. Um, and I like that the rivets go all the way across so if, when it is sitting like that it just looks so stunning so if you're carrying it um, how I usually wear it the handle will cover those top studs there this top section here with the rivets is all velvet it's so lovely and soft and it also features the same border on the back with the same lovely rivets the back of the bag I know you guys are like can you just show me the inside of the bag be patient please I'm getting to it <laughs> This is the same um, zipper pull as the clutch. I wasn't able to use that on the wallet because it's just way too big. Way, way, way too big. Um, the inside pocket here, let's see if you can see it, is lined with red satin. It's just so lovely. Yeah, and that's a really handy pocket so if you, you know, you're on public transport or something like that. Yeah, you can just like put your photo ID or your bus pass or whatever in there. Let's talk about the spikes. I've been getting not a heap of emails, but a few emails from ladies saying, can they order it without the spikes? At this point, like I mentioned quite creatively in my last video, I'm just going to say no for now. They're placed in a way where they're not going to hurt you. Let me show you. They're nowhere near your arms. So if you wear the bag like this, the spikes are here, the spikes are in the back, even when you go to open it. The spikes aren't anywhere near so they're not actually going to spike you. If you're holding it like that, then there's still no way that they would spike you. And if you also wear a crossbody, basically I've thoughtfully positioned them so they're not going to come in contact with your body. Which is pretty considerate of me, right? Because like, I don't really want my customers to be impaled when using my products. That's not cool. Okay, so let's talk about the inside of the bag. To open the bag, I have put two zippers on so you can go that way. And they're these big, you know, I like to get into my large handbags immediately. So I wanted big zipper pulls that you could just grab and open up because I don't have time to look for that shit, okay? <laughs> look at that. The red is not even showing up. How beautiful it is. Can you see that? It's the same faux way that was used on the wallet and the clutches. So again, it's all entirely matching, which was super important to me because they are a matching set. There is so much space in there. It is stupid. So on this side, which would be the front side of the bag, I just had to check. You've got two little sachets with a really nice black patent piping. Oh, that's a mouthful. They're really good for like your phones or lipstick or things that you need to grab like straight away and know where they are. Over on this side, I need a lot of pockets in my handbags. I don't know about you, but one zipper wasn't enough. So I've got the back zipper, if you can see that, with the little patch that says Black Friday by me. <laughs> 
Um, so in front of that would be another open pouch and then you've got another zipper. So there's two zippers and one little patch in between the two zippers. So it's heaps practical. So I will just sit it under my arm like this. I will keep it open, phone rings, bam, you just open it up and you grab it out. It's super practical and the way that I've made it as well, if you don't zip it up, she doesn't got to fall out of it, you know, it's nice and safe. But if you do want to zip it up, that is entirely your right to do so. But I want the right to have a womb. <laughs> if you guys don't know Monty Python, that would have seemed really, really random. I've also been getting a lot of messages on Facebook, Instagram saying, how much stuff can you fit in there? Well, I'm going to show you how much stuff we can fit in there. Okay. So it is entirely empty at the moment. I figure you are definitely going to want to put the Black Friday matching wallet into this bag. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. I'll hold it open like that and try to put the stuff in so you can see what I'm doing. Maybe you need a second wallet. Hey, you can purchase my death candy wallet. That will definitely fit in that one. My oversized, I might say, coffin sunglass case. Makeup case, essential. This is an iPhone 8 Plus with a ridiculously large case on it. This case is by Rogue and Wolf. I love it, it blocks a speaker. That is not the point of this video. That is also going in there. Keys. Hand sanitizer. And we are starting to push the limits, but it's completely practical to put that much within this bag. So I'm just doing up the zippers. I wish you could see that. It's heavy, but all of that went in easily. <laughs> that feels really secure. It's probably going to give you a backache to carry around that much crap with you, but us women tend to do that, don't we? So yeah, that is how it looks and sits when it is completely full. Again, the spikes are in a lovely area where they're, they're not going to hit you. And they're only, they're little teeny tiny miniature spikes, so <laughs> don't worry about it. And if you're just going to hold onto it like that, that works as well. Again, easy access. <laughs> to get into it from those zippers you could just keep it open or close it up it's super duper practical that is a big bag so again to recap on everything so you can see it coming out of there Get a sanitizer, mobile phone keys and like what am i a freaking janitor like why do i have so many keys oversized sunglasses case a big makeup case with lots of makeup <laughs> a coffin wallet the black friday wallet all of that stuff which i deem entirely essential fit inside the bag easily. I'm so pleased that I am able to do larger bags because I know clutches aren't everyday bags, they are occasional bags. And when I started relaunching my business, a lot of the feedback I was getting from you ladies was we need larger bags. I'm like, I oh, know they're just so expensive. I was actually scared to do them. So I feel like it was a sensible choice to kind of start with smaller items, spend a year to build up my brand a little bit. And then because I am having a bigger reach now and with the help of the girls that I'm working with, of course, uh, we're able to secure those pre-orders. And even if the prices are a little dearer because the bags are bigger, the sales are coming in. So we're able to get them manufactured. <laughs> it does come with a strap. The strap is a little different. It is not the same as the one with the clutch. It is the same faux leather that is featured on the bags that all matches. And then just has a nice change. You just attach it to the, <laughs> the D-links and then you, bam, it's cross body. It's pretty straightforward. It's just a nice, light, comfortable strap. And of course you have the option of completely taking it off if you don't want to use the strap at all. Now, if you know me, you know that I hate math. So I haven't actually figured out yet. <sighs> how many pre-orders we need. I'm going to just say 75 because it's super confusing. Firstly, it depends on if we sell more than 200 once Freya does her launch video, because then we, obviously we need to order more than 200. Long story short, I'm just going to say we need to get 75. We'll just stick with that to have these manufacture. I know we're already on about 45 and neither of us, like I'm filming this video now, so I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled that we've secured that many pre-orders before it's officially been released. That is super cool. I have mailed this sample and the version 2 clutch sample to Freya in New Zealand and I just got a notification actually that it arrived so probably by the time this video is on my channel she would have had hers and you might see some photos of her with it in the next few days. Once the video hits Freya's channel I'm sure we will secure enough pre-orders that I'm able to get manufacturing started straight away. Please keep in mind that it is still an 8 to 12 week for manufacturing once we secure that many pre-orders. 
in Black Friday's case, because she has such a big platform and such a big fan base, that happens in two or three days. Oh, and someone reminded me that I need to put um, the dimensions of this bad boy on my website. I'm sorry, I kind of had a meltdown. So many bags came that I'm like, oh, it's so much work that I <laughs> I didn't do it. There's, there's still no information. There's a few photos on there, but it is coming very soon. As you can see, it's super large. I would say that's like 34 centimeters, maybe 23 centimeters high and 18 deep. But yeah, I will like totally measure it and put actual statistics on the website for you. I simply cannot wait to see Black Friday's reaction to this bag. I really, really hope she does some kind of unboxing or something because I love seeing her reaction. I'm really, really, really proud of this bag. I think it's incredibly unique. The spikes, by the way, are stainless steel, so they're not going to rust ever. You know, it's really annoying sometimes when you buy like cheap jewelry or cheap bags that they use, um, I think it's brass and some kind of material that goes like rusty or the coating just kind of goes weird. That's that's not gonna happen with this. So. The price is 199 Australian dollars. Considering the clutch is 140 and the second clutch, which is bigger, is 150. I don't think that's too bad because it is like six times the size. And if you walk into like any kind of handbag shop and you look at guests and like their bags are like two, three, four hundred dollars. So I think this is a really reasonable price considering I am getting such small quantities made and my company is just ugh, charging me so much until I get to the point where I can order like thousands of something. The prices are going to be quite dear. Like I can't compete with other brands that are already heaps established. If you do need to lay by this gorgeous bag, remember there are two options. I will keep mentioning this in all of the videos as well. If you're within Australia or New Zealand, there is Afterpay. Internationally, wherever you are, you can set up a lay by at my online store. It is basically an arrangement between myself and you and PayPal as the middleman. And PayPal just sets up installments. You can do it for one month, you can do the payments over two months and it will just split your order into smaller increments for you. So example, if you, um, whoop, <laughs> I nearly dropped that. If you lay by this bag over two months, your payment would be $50 every fortnight. I'm forgetting shipping, so like, whatever, 50, $55 every fortnight. It makes it a lot more um, practical for some people out there that might feel that 200 is a bit of a stretch for them. I don't make any money off the lay-by. Um, I believe the lay-by company that sets up the PayPal installments takes 1.9% off whatever the order total is. So that is the only cost involved. And again, that doesn't go to me, that's between you and them. I've had quite a few people recently try to set up the lay-by and when they're on my payments page, they're selecting PayPal. I can get the confusion there because I have said Layby is powered by PayPal, but there's actually an option called that Layby powered by PayPal. Um, and then PayPal is separate. If you select PayPal, you will be directed to PayPal to log in and pay for this in full. So if that's what you want to do, select PayPal. If you want to set up the installments, make sure you select Layby powered by PayPal. Oh, I suck at alliteration. Oh, I forgot to mention that it also has feet. Look at that really really high quality so when you put it down it makes that little click sound and I'm just in love with it. I hope you ladies love it as much as I do. I'm going to move the camera back now and just show you some footage of the three different ways that you can wear it so you can get an idea of that. Thank you so much to everyone that has already pre-ordered a bag. It means the world to me and the world to Black Friday that you are supporting us as well. And I'm sure you will see Black Friday's launch video on her channel very, very soon. So thank you for joining me. I'm going to go and film probably five other unboxings today because I have a lot to get through. So I'm going to change my outfit so I can kind of pretend that it was on another day and film all of those for you. So you will see me again very soon. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think about this bag. Is there anything you would change? Is there anything you would like to add? Or is it just perfect the way that it is? I think it might be. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already and please share my video. Help me get to 10,000. I want that K behind my name on every platform. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.